Hi guys, welcome to the Friday edition of the Nicholas Comstock Show. Sorry, itch, itch. Um, <laughs> if this is your first time watching the Nicholas Comstock Show here on YouTube, I am so happy to have you, and I'm so glad you decided to join my crazy life. Alright, if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell so that you can get notified <clears throat> every time I upload a new video, which is usually every day around this time. Maybe a little earlier, maybe a little later. All depends on my schedule. But make sure you subscribe because I would love to have you. All right, you guys. Today I'm going to tell you the story about how I ended up riding around in a convertible bus one day, one Sunday, actually. All right, so let me tell you the story. So I had a staff member, and to say that this particular staff member was not the brightest bulb in the pack is the understatement of the decade. I mean, his bulbs were out. I mean, he was just, you know, all around crazy. To be honest with you, he was a really nice guy. He just wasn't all there. Uh, <laughs> uh, and, you know, what was even funnier was that he sounded like Krusty the Clown from The Simpsons. And for you church people, for your halos getting crooked because I said something about Krusty the Clown and The Simpsons, uh, take those crooked halos off your head like my pastor used, or like my pastor likes to say. And, uh, you know... Get a checkup from the neck up. It's all right. You know who the Simpsons are. Don't even act like you don't. Anyway, so he sounds like Krusty the, the Clown from the Simpsons. I'm not going to imitate him. I used to imitate him very well, but I haven't been around him in a while. So, uh, one Sunday, <clears throat> I was going to church, and I didn't have very uh, accessible transportation at the time. But when I did, we drove around in this big bus that had like 15 or 20 seats in it. At the time, I lived five minutes away from my church. And I was on the bus, we were headed to church, and I was, you know, my chair was tied down, and the guy was driving along, and I, I'm sitting here on my phone, and, you know, I'm on my phone because I can actually be on my phone because I'm not the one driving. So I'm checking in with Facebook and seeing what everybody else is wearing to church or what they're having for breakfast, you know, blase, blase. <clears throat> and all of a sudden, we pull up to church and my driver had the bright idea to take the bus under a too small of like a weather covering thing that they have outside you know, so he could pull up, um, pull me up right to the front. And all of a sudden I hear crash rip, you know, and he had ripped the, basically ripped the roof off of the bus. And so <laughs> we had a sunroof bus for a few days and he said, Nick, you were supposed to tell me that this wasn't going to fit under here. I'm like, you're the driver, dumbass. Pay attention, you know. I didn't tell him that at the time. I think maybe I did. We had a cool relationship like like that. So uh, it was it was quite funny because the company had to pay like $500 to get it fixed. I don't think he had to pay for it. I don't know. Maybe he did. Um, but if the company had to pay for it, good for them because they deserve that. They put me through hell anyway, so... Uh, jokes on them, but yeah, <laughs> uh, it, it was funny because for a couple days it would rain and rain would come on, you know, the seats and, and, uh, had a convertible bus for a few days. I don't know if I'll ever be in a real convertible, but at least I got to experience something similar to it. Uh, anyway, I just thought it was a funny story. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. You have a great day. All right. Bye-bye.